Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuke channel with self-cut 3D modeling basic tutorial. Today I will create simple 3D battle with thread. First, uh, I will insert a different image. And the next, uh, you can change opacity into this point. You can close uh, this uh, reference image. I will change into top view and then I will use uh, this option, mesh plus uh, wireframe. The next, uh, we can use uh, 3D sketch. Uh, we can change into precision settings and you can check for minimum angle step in here we can draw a landscape okay we can draw stuff from this point okay we can move to the bottom here and next uh, move uh, to the right in here uh, i will create to a point arch okay you can create to point arch in here and i will uncheck for minimum angle step you can click stuff from uh, this point we can move into here and then move to here okay we create again stuff from this point and then we can move uh, to here the next uh, stuff from this point we can move uh, into this point Now uh, you can use a uh, landscape, we can create line with uh, minimum angle step, you can click here and move uh, to the bottom. We use uh, two point arch again, you can start from this point, move into here. Okay, now uh, we can create line from this point into center point. And then you can move uh, to the top. You can close uh, this line sketch. To convert uh, this sketch into 3D models, we can use a revolve command. You can click tools and then click revolve. Uh, we can use a uh, revolve around edge. You can select uh, this edge, so it will be revolve around edge, and you can click OK to apply. The next, uh, I will use a uh, rotate command to rotate in right axis into 270 degree. And then I will move uh, these objects into center point. Okay, now uh, we can create thread uh, in uh, this uh, battle objects. You can uh, click uh, 3D step and then use a scroll uh, and node uh, command. You can uh, drop and drag into this point. Okay, uh, we can move uh, these objects into center point. The next, uh, we can move uh, to the top. And in here, I will use a scale command. We can scale these uh, objects. Okay, make it more small. Okay, you can change into a mesh view. This is for mesh view. Change into front view. And now we can use move tools. So we can move uh, these objects to the bottom here. Okay, now uh, we already correct thread in here. And then uh, I will use uh, this command cylinder <coughs> and then we can attach into this uh, point. Okay, uh, we are attach a cylinder objects. And now we can move uh, this cylinder into a uh, center point. We can use a, a move command to move to the top and then you can use scale tools. We can scale uh, more small this uh, cylinder objects. Okay, and then change into a front view. We can use uh, this option wireframe and use move tools. Uh, we can move uh, to the bottom this objects. Okay, this enough. And now I will uh, copy these uh, two objects. You can click a uh, copy. And in here I will uh, use subtract command to subtract cylinder object with uh, this uh, thread. <coughs> you can click state and scoop. Next uh, we can uh, use uh, this option difference, and then you can change uh, subtract with uh, this uh, mesh objects. You can click preview. So it will be subtract and you can click OK. 
I will change into front view and next uh, we can move uh, this uh, cylinder objects okay you can use move tools uh, we can move uh, to the bottom here okay in here the next uh, I will use uh, subtract command again uh, we can select this uh, two object a cylinder object with uh, this thread and then use a state and scoop you can use uh, this uh, difference uh, command and then I will subtract with this uh, cylinder objects click per view so uh, this will be cut sorry uh, we can change again in here into this objects click per view and then you can click ok now uh, we can uh, combine uh, these objects you can use them as uh, view and then I will combine these uh, objects with uh, these objects you can use uh, state and scoop click uh, this option union and you can click ok now uh, we can use uh, polygon option uh, you can select uh, this polygon and then you can press delete button yes it will be delayed the next uh, we can select again in uh, this point and press delete button and yes now uh, you can uh, use a thickness in uh, these objects okay you can select uh, these objects and we can use a thickness you can set into minus one click per view so uh, this a thickness with minus one and you can click ok i will move uh, these objects okay into center point so yeah, we select this object into center point and also we select again this object into center point. You can use move tools to move uh, to the top. Okay, we can move into here. So it will be fit into this object like this. Okay, you can click uh, this object where frame. So it will be quite uh, simple for this uh, battle you also can uh, set uh, this objects okay you can uh, rotate in uh, right axis you can rotate into 180 degree and then you can move uh, to the bottom here change again into my view so uh, we already create a simple 3d battles with a thread and if you want to print out uh, these models, uh, you can click uh, 3D print. But first, we can select uh, the objects and click uh, 3D print. Will be open self cut uh, slicer. You can use a uh, slicer in it to slice uh, these uh, two objects. And next, you can save uh, into G-code and start to printing. Okay, enough today for self-cut 3D modeling basic tutorial how to create a 3D battle with a thread. If you have any question about this uh, tutorial, you can comment below this video.